Hey everyone, welcome to my end of year video. I've got this idea from another YouTuber who does retrospectives and reviews a little bit like myself, but in a more long form analysis type. His name is Mr. Hammers. His uh, channel link will be in the description. For this video, I'm not gonna edit any of the audio like I do for my other videos where I usually edit out sporadic breaths and stuff like that and stutters, of course. But for this one, it's gonna be a bit more laid back. You know, last video of the year, gonna be uploaded on the 31st of December. I'm really excited to make this video. So for this video, I wanted to rate or put in tiers every single game that I've played in 2021. And for me, that was 45 games, which I finished. Of course, I've only put games that I've finished because otherwise this video would be quite long. And just with the games I've finished, there's 45 different games here, which I think is the most games I've ever played in a single year, which is insane to think about. Um, and this is while balancing school and stuff, but most of these games, I've got to admit, have been played in the first six months of this year, which was actually coincidentally where the Sydney lockdown happened here. So there's a bit of correlation there, but I didn't play too many games there either. So I think a lot of these are from the holidays in January and such. So anyway, we're going to get into this. Shadow of War is the first game on this list. Shadow, the Shadow of War series has become one of my favorite gaming franchises as of late. I already enjoy Lord of the Rings, so this game was a no-brainer to play. And I think this game improves on everything that the original did, except the story. But in my opinion, I think this game is almost perfect for gameplay-wise. And I'm only doing it on gameplay, because that's what I play these games for. I do like to see some of the lore from the Lord of the Rings being incorporated into such a game. But I think, in general, I'd I'd say play this game just for the, for the gameplay, not for the narrative. So, for me, Shadow of War has to be an almost perfect. Let's drag that up. Okay, the next game here is Halo 3. I recently played this with a good friend of mine, and um, he also has a YouTube channel. He's only had he only has one video, but he said he's going to come back soon. So I'm going to put his channel link in the description, and it's going to pop up right now. Go check him out. Makes content kind of like mine. So please go subscribe and show him some love. Anyway, Halo 3. I played it with him. Um, I have nostalgia for this game. I love this game. Everything. I just love this game so much. That's an instant masterpiece, perfect S tier for me. Anyway, now Doom 2016. I played this pretty early in the year. I do like the Doom games because of this game. So I'm going to put this in good. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't almost perfect, but it was good. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I have nostalgia for this game once again. I love the mechanics. I love the story. I love everything it does to expand upon the Assassin's Creed 2, the first game with Ezio. So for me, this game has to be a perfect Yakuza 0, when I played the game, I loved it, and if I think about it now, I thought this would be one of those games where you play it, and you forget about it, but this game really stuck with me, so I'm going to put it in almost perfect, I love this game, I'm excited to play Yakuza Kiwami in about a few days, and probably going to start it, I love this game. Now, Spec Ops The Line, this game did have an effect on me, it's only 6 hours long, the gameplay is outdated as all hell, and it can feel clunky at times, yet its story is so riveting and so fantastically written that I think it deserves an almost perfect. And this is all my own opinion, by the way. You can disagree. You can say Halo 3 is trash or simply bad. That's your opinion. Um, this is just from my opinion. This next one, of course, a controversial game that I played at the beginning of this year, even though I bought it on the day it came out last year. Last of Us Part 2, a masterpiece for me. I love the story. I love the gameplay of the characters or most of the characters. And I enjoy what they did. I think it was a good, risky sequel, of course, as many say. Now, Assassin's Creed Unity. This game I've played before, or I tried playing before. It didn't work. It still had some bugs on my Xbox Series X, but it was a good Assassin's Creed game. It's not as bad as it was, or how bad people say it is. Halo Combat Evolved. Love this game. Played this game numerous times, 20, 30 times when I was a kid. For me, this is an almost perfect. The only thing that brings it down is that sometimes the gameplay can feel a little outdated, but for me, it doesn't really feel that outdated. It feels perfectly normal, and I love the gameplay, I guess. But the story is kind of simple, but that's what they were going for back in 2001, and I respect it. Now, Florence. This game was a short one-hour game. I think it was 40 minutes to an hour long. Um, it's a good game. It's good. Um, is it better than Doom and uh, AC Unity? Nope. It's okay. It's all right. Journey, this might be uh, a hot take, but Journey didn't have the same impact that I thought it would have on me. Maybe because I didn't take my time as maybe others did. 
I just wanted to finish the game because I played another game on this list and then I'm like, okay, let's play Journey as a little break in between instead of playing the game as a game I wanted to really play. For me, this was all right. I do intend on replaying it and trying to get the most out of it, but for me right now, it's all right. Now, Ruiner, this is an indie game. Um, I don't know if a lot of people have heard of it, but it's a really fantastic isometric indie game and it has a cyberpunk aesthetic and it has awesome gameplay. Story is nice. I like everything about this game, especially the aesthetic. It's a good game. The Last of Us Part 1, or The Last of Us, simply. Um, perfect. For me, I think it's perfect. Um, it and Part 2 are a fantastic package when paired together, and they create this culminative story that really resonated with me deeply. Now, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I played this as a kid. I don't think I ever finished it, and I've not played the second one. I do have the second one given to me by my friend again anyway um i said it says star wars the force on each one uh two but it's supposed to be one anyway um this game was all right i'm not going to say it's amazing it's not good oh no it is good but not to the level that i thought it was at but it is good portal this game was fantastic this game was really well made i've been wanting to play this game for years now so it was really good i enjoyed it um dishonored one fantastic game not almost perfect just fantastic i think if you put dishonored one and two together they'd be almost perfect i think arcane studios really knew what they were doing and i'm gonna put this game in good and also i don't think there would be any trash games i usually don't choose to play any trash games or i don't really stumble into any trash games so um and i haven't put like multiplayer games here that could be in trash like i've only put games that i've finished anyway assassin's creed revelations almost perfect I think the only thing it misses is that it's not as expansive for me, in my personal opinion. Like, I love the Altair's um, complexity or duality that it has. It's a fantastic game. It's Some days I might think it's masterly, something, some days I think it's perfect. It, it depends on the day, but I think it's almost perfect. It's fantastic. Oh, I said not a trash game, but um, looks like there's one coming up. Rise Sun Rome. When I first played this game, I'm like, this game's underrated, but I just think about it, and the combat, the story was just depressingly bad, and I know the story about, it's a tragedy, this game is. I'm sorry, but this game was not good. It really wasn't that good. High Hell, a small indie game, two, three hours, just some fun uh, shooter, it's really good. Tomb Raider uh, 2013, the reboot, was good. This was a good game, I enjoyed my time with it. Might not be the most memorable game I've played and might not be the most innovational game I've played this year, but it was pretty good. Now let's go for Far Cry 4. I don't know, when I played this game originally, I, I was a bit conflicted. I didn't feel the impact that I saw online. I finished the game about in 20 hours, 25 hours, and I don't know, it just didn't resonate with me. The villain wasn't there enough for me, in my personal opinion, compared to like another game here, Far Cry 5. So I don't know, I just felt a little bit empty sometimes uh the characters were not memorable it was all right shadow of mortal i think this is almost perfect as well the atmosphere is better than shadow of war in my opinion in the combat and the nemesis system is just perfect um detroit become human is good it's a fantastic game don't get me wrong um not as well or not as well made as i thought it was when i first played it like i thought it was a masterpiece when i played it it's a good game don't get me wrong i love this game um, but it's not as good as I had once thought. Uh, Devil May Cry 5, this game is almost perfect. I love this game. It's so much fun. The story is always taking a backseat for me, but that doesn't even matter. The gameplay is just fantastic. Um, playing as three different characters really mixes up the formula of Devil May Cry. And it's my first game in the series as well, so I really did enjoy it. Halo 3 ODST. People love this game. Uh, my friend, uh, whose channel is again in the description... He enjoyed the game. It's his least favorite Halo game, which is a bit of oh, mine as well, but which might be controversial to some. But this game is good. I think maybe the characters weren't developed enough, or just the setting was fantastic, but some of the stuff I was a bit conflicted about. But I liked the game. I think it's really good. I don't know if I would put it in almost perfect, I'll put it in good. It's a good game. Hitman 3, fantastic. I think this is the best Hitman game that they've ever released. In my opinion, it was just a combination of the entire Hitman 1, 2, and it just, just this collective package that just feels like the ultimate Hitman experience. 
Assassin's Creed 2, this game is a goddamn masterpiece. If anyone else says otherwise, they're just simply wrong. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Dishonored 2, fantastic. Expands upon the original in many ways, and it's just fun. The Pathless was a really good indie game. I loved the game when I played it. I remember playing it before an exam. or not before an exam. I finished it when I was taking a break from studying. And I just love this game. It's short, but it's fantastic. So I'm gonna put this in good. I see Halo 2 coming up, and Halo 2 for me is a goddamn masterpiece. The Arbiter, the duality of the Chief and the Arbiter, seeing who the Covenant really are, really resonated with me, and I really enjoyed this game, playing this game with, again, my friend down below. Um, it was just super fun, and I'd like to see his reactions, it was awesome. I just enjoy the game in general. Hitman 2 played very early on in this year, like January, I think. Um, fantastic game, not as good as... Hitman 3, but it's a good game. I can't deny that much. God of War, when I played it, I said, this game's a goddamn masterpiece. I think God of War 3 fits that a bit better. Might just be my opinion. I think a lot of people think, of course, it's a masterpiece. For me, it's almost perfect. Sniper Elite 4, another fun game that I played. I played it while talking to some friends. I don't think it's fantastic. I think it's fantastic, but I don't think it's almost perfect it's probably like a bit down here you know the lowest in the b tier dying light almost perfect playing this co-op with a friend i played it the first time with a friend now i played it with another friend in co-op just it feels like a completely different experience each time it's so engaging so much fun the story is really good in my opinion and i love the gameplay the gameplay is fantastic um sunset overdrive I did enjoy this game, but I think about it, I don't remember anything. This game was just wasn't memorable to me at all. So I'm going to have to put it in all right. Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that. I can't say it sometimes. Uh, fantastic. It's almost perfect. It's not. As, I don't think it's good as 2018's installment, but it's a good game if I can bring it up. Yep. Um, it's a good game. I love this game. I played it three times this year, but it is short to be fair, so... Now, Final Fantasy VII Remake, fantastic, played this early in the year, January, I remember so much stuff from this game, it's a goddamn masterpiece. Halo Reach, bro, this is a masterpiece, man, come on, I played this, I just finished this yesterday with my friend, or two days ago, I think it was, this game was, oh no, I think it was yesterday morning, yep, yeah. this game was just fantastic, I've never finished Reach, I've played every single mission except the last one, Lone Wolf. I loved this game. I've got a video coming out on it. I love this game so much. It really just... It just culminates everything that Bungie did in the other Halo games and just puts it into one package that feels like the ultimate Halo experience. But for me, it just doesn't beat Halo 3 still because of nostalgia. But also just because... In Halo Reach, I do have nostalgia for as well. But Halo 3 I just was more epic for me. Batman Arkham Origins is a good game. Can't say it's bad. It's a great game. God of War 3 was a masterpiece for me. I don't know. I just think about this game a lot. It's it's something else. It's really fantastic. Of course, these are not in order, by the way. Most of them are not, except where Sniper Elite 4 is. Stanley, this game didn't stick with me. I, it's forgettable. I'm sorry, but it was forgettable. I'm going to put it in trash or bad. I didn't like it. I can see why people like it, though. Far Cry 5, almost perfect in my opinion. This is my favorite Far Cry game. I need to play Far Cry 3 still. I bought that ages ago you're gonna play that soon that could be better than this but this at the moment is my favorite far cry game i enjoy it to bits and i'm ready to play far cry new dawn soon so that's gonna be exciting because i really love the villains in this game it was fantastic put around 50 hours in it i just enjoyed every aspect of the game Watch Dogs 2 this game if to me is a masterpiece i know this might like because of course it's my opinion I don't know, Watch Dogs 2, I've played eight times. I think I played it twice this year alone. Fantastic game. Watch Dogs 1, good, it's fantastic. And now, for the last game, on this Halo Infinite, which came out, I think this is the most recent game that came out this year. I don't think I've played that much games that came out this year. Oh yeah, I haven't really. Um, Yeah, but anyway, uh, Halo Infinite, return to form. Thank you, 343. You've created something that truly feels like a bungee Halo game, and... That's all I want, you know. It's taking a bit to drag it. I love Halo Infinite so much. I've got a review on it. I want to do an in-depth analysis. I want to do a story critique. There's so much stuff I want to do with that game. It's so good. I just love the game. 
Anyway, everyone, my laptop kind of ran out of charge. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Once again, I just want to reiterate, thank you guys so much for all the support. The 400 subscribers we've gained. We hit 700. I'm really hoping we can hit 1,000 in the next few months. And I'm excited to bring you guys more fantastic content in the next year. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this year of content. I think I've made 30 videos this year. And I've enjoyed making every single one of them pretty much. And I've got a lot more coming up. Updates to reviews I made before. Remakes of some of the reviews I've made before. Entirely new reviews. Entirely new video ideas. And there's a lot of stuff coming up. I've got some collaborations I want to do. And um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys all did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next year. So see you all in 2022.